Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Anthony and uh, we have Lisa here driving. Um, so today is January 2nd, 2021 and uh, we're about to head down to Orange County, California to uh, visit Mile Square Park. And uh, on the way there, we'll stop by and we'll get some uh, snacks, some Vietnamese snacks and uh, we'll show you guys what we get. You excited? Yes, I'm yes. hungry. <laughs> All right. So join us today as we explore Orange County together. Eat tons of food. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so uh, we made it to the first stop. So we're gonna go in the Lamb Van's uh, food to go right there and get some uh, Vietnamese food. So uh, there's the Bank of America right here and there's like a long line that goes around the building as well. I'm pretty surprised to see that. I'm wondering if the bank's giving away, giving away free money or something, there's like so many people there. All right, you guys, so we just got out of Lamb Van's uh, food to go and we're about to head over to another shop right now before we uh, go in Mile Square Park. All right, here we are at THH Sandwiches, and this is where we're gonna go next to get some food. Never been here before. Yeah, Lisa's never been here, but it's it's been it's been a while since I've been at this place as well. All right, you guys. So we just got out of THH, and now we're uh, heading to the park. Uh, so we're gonna street park, and uh, hopefully we'll find a place, and uh, you know we'll have lunch here. All right, you guys, so here we are at Mile Square Park. Um, it's pretty windy today, so hopefully the dead cat on the phone will, you know, prevent some of the wind effects. But um, yeah, we found a place here at the park and we set up a little sitting area and uh, we'll show you guys what we got. So at THH, we got a uh, Vietnamese banh mi. And it's on a French baguette with, um, I think it's pork pate. There's jalapenos, cucumbers pickled uh, daikon radish and carrots, and uh, some pork as well. And also at THH, we got the Vietnamese iced coffee right here, um, and the passion fruit smoothie. Yes. Yes, so that'll be our beverages. And at Lam Van's Bakery, we got the Nam Nung. We got two of those. And Lisa also got some uh, meatballs. I think they're pork meatballs, yeah. They're pork, pork. meatballs, They're right? pretty good. Yeah, so... All right, what do you want to try first, Lisa? Everything. Everything, <laughs> yeah. We are super hungry right yes. now. Yeah. Let's try the Nam Nil first. I've been craving that. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here's the Nam Nil spring roll. It comes with the pork and then a fried egg roll wrapper, I guess. Some <laughs> lettuce. And I forgot what this thing is called. I forgot. And it comes with sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Every place makes their sauce different. Some do peanut sauce. This is my first time seeing some kind of orange sauce, so that's interesting. <laughs> Try it out, see if you like it. I'm gonna take it from the back. <laughs> Crunchy. Mm. Yeah. So we see the pork, the spring roll wrap, egg roll wrapper, some cucumbers, Lettuce, right? Mm -hmm. And some veggies and some herbs. It's good. Yeah. Usually the ones I have, they have noodles. Noodles, Rice yeah. noodles, yeah. But, but this one's mostly veggies. It's yeah. all veggies. Oh, cucumber. Would you prefer it to have noodles? Mm, I think it'd probably be more fulfilling with the noodles. Mm -hmm. I'm not a veggie person that much. So I, I probably wouldn't prefer it with the noodles. <laughs> but it's good too, though. Yeah. This is good too. <laughs> I love passion fruit. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Sweet or sour? It's sweet. Sweet, nice. All right, you guys. So now it's my turn to try some of the nam nu. I haven't had these in months, but I used to go to this place um, at least once a month. But since the pandemic, I haven't really um, been uh, been buying food from them. Mm. Very crunchy from the egg roll wrap. I'm not sure what kind of herbs they put in here, but I can taste some some cilantro. There's definitely lettuce in here. I think there's mint in this um, in the spring roll. I can taste it in that one bite. 
The sauce is what makes it, I think. The sauce is pretty good. The sauce is a little bit sweet and a little bit salty. It's a good thing they give us a lot of sauce. I'm like dousing it in sauce. Yeah, they <laughs> never cheap out the sauce. It tastes very fresh, very clean, you know? It doesn't taste um, bad. It tastes pretty healthy, but I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure if it's healthy or not, but it tastes pretty healthy. There's a lot of veggies. Especially with the veggies, yeah. <laughs> very good. Not for your oh, my iced Vietnamese coffee. coffee. So now I'll try my Vietnamese iced coffee at THH. What makes it Vietnamese? Because of the condensed milk. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys haven't had Vietnamese coffee before, it's pretty strong and they put a lot of condensed milk in it, so it's very, very sweet. This thing will definitely get you going, that's for sure. Oh yeah, condensed milk. Very, very strong, sweet taste. A little bit bitter from the coffee as well. A lot of ice though, I would say. <laughs> Overall, pretty good. I love Vietnamese coffee. So now we're gonna try some of the meatball from Lam Van's Food To Go. So, I don't know, I usually eat these with um, like noodles, you know? Or I never rice. had these by itself. Yeah. Oh, try uh, the sauce. I think the sauce is probably a peanut sauce. They go with rice as well. And there's pickled carrots and daikon. Yeah, so they got some sauce. I, I'm not sure what kind of sauce this is. We'll find out right now. Oh. Is it peanut sauce? Let me smell it. Yeah, it smells like a kind of like a peanut sauce that comes with uh, spring rolls. Have you guys had any Vietnamese food before? And um, this is a bag of uh, pickled uh, radish, daikon no, radish, daikon. Oh, yeah. and uh, carrots. So now let's try the meatball by itself first. It's a little bit salty, you know. That's why you definitely have to eat it with some carbs, with some noodles, or with some rice. Let's try it with the sauce. It's a peanut sauce. But honestly, the meatball is already so flavorful, you don't even need the peanut sauce. I think I'm okay with eating it just by itself. So here is the banh mi from THH. Um, I believe their banh mi is like one of the best ones around. It's one of my favorite places to get banh mi. Um, so it uh, comes in a uh, like a French baguette style uh, bread, and um, the the protein is pork. Um, there's also cilantro, jalapenos, cucumbers, and pickled uh, daikon radish and uh, carrots. And um, they okay. also yeah they also put some pork pate in it as well. So now let's bite into it. That bite was mostly bread, <laughs> but the bread is pretty good. <laughs> a little bit buttery. Um, the outside is crunchy. The inside is, uh, is soft. Very buttery. I can taste the pate there. Pretty good. Carrot, pickled carrot, a little bit sour, so. All of these come together to form a pretty good sandwich. Okay, my turn to try the meatball. I haven't had this in like years, maybe more than five years. Really? Yeah, so let's try it without the sauce. Mm. Tastes the same. So good. As you remember from mm -hmm. five years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love eating these with rice and then pour the sauce all over the rice and the meat and everything. It's so good. You mean the peanut sauce? Yeah, the peanut sauce. Mm. They're like big meatballs too, you know? They're yeah. not small. You can cut these up, put them in your sandwich, or put them in a spring roll. Be mm. good too. Yeah. Mm. But so good. And I like to eat them with the pickled carrots and daikon too. Right. Now it's my turn to try the sandwich. <clears throat> this is my first time trying a sandwich from this place. Mm. I hope you like it. It's the bomb. Whoa. I won't be eating the. Oh my god. I'm not a big fan of um, <laughs> cilantro or the pickles. I mean, oh my um, god. the jalapeno. You eat like a baby, Lisa. I do not eat like a baby. 
Oh, there's one more. <laughs> she took a while. She, she took out most of the veggies. No, there's pickled carrots and, I got <laughs> and a cucumber. <laughs> All right. Eat it however you want, right? Yeah. Eat it however you want. I think all I got was bread too. <laughs> <laughs> the first bite is mostly bread, mm -hmm. yep. Mm. It's pretty soft bread, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty good bread. The bread is pretty salty or something. Something is salty. Mm. I think it's the bread. Oh, they put butter on her. Uh -huh. They did? Yeah. Something, yeah. Probably. Most likely. Tastes like butter, yeah. Mm. And a little bit of pate. Mm. You like it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I can definitely taste the soy sauce. Yeah, they put some soy sauce in there. Yep. This is the first time probably where I had a banh mi with soy sauce. I don't think really? the places I've gone to, uh, they put soy sauce in there. Yeah. Usually with banh mi. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Usually banh mi, if you want a little bit more flavor, uh, soy sauce is the way to go. Oh, they put like mayonnaise in here too, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. There's something. There's a white sauce in here. Yeah, probably. But it's, it's really good though. Probably mayonnaise. I like it. I like how soft the bread is. Yeah. The meat's pretty flavorful as well, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. You happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. This is one of my, my favorites. My tummy is very happy. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> squirrel! Squirrel! Yeah, this is tiny squirrel running around over there. <laughs> How cute! Alright, so we will enjoy our lunch and maybe we'll show you guys uh, the park a little bit after we're done. Yes, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished lunch and um, we're just going to walk around the park and see what's up. Lunch was delicious. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty windy and a little bit uh, cold today, but um, we got some sunlight under the, uh, the tree, so it was manageable. It was good. Here. Yeah. He's like, oh no, camera shy. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> This little duckling has been following us, so um, I think it's used to having people feed it, so that's why it's just hanging around humans. He's just like pacing back and forth near us, Lisa. Yeah. Look, some ducks on the grass. There's one right there. Yeah. There's a ton right there. Whoa, what kind of bird is that? That's the one that I was talking about, I asked you. Yeah, that's a very long beak, huh? I haven't seen these guys at a park before. Look, they look like mini flamingos almost. Yeah, they're just standing on one leg. Yeah. Red eyes. Scary. Though. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty scary, yeah. Alright everyone, so that pretty much concludes our adventure for today. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more future adventures. Bye!